Hi guys! How much can a person's appearance change? Today you'll see incredible reincarnations of the famous actresses and actors. We will compare how they look before and after the changes. Some of them will simply shock you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Will Kilmer made a good showing as eyes in one of his first films, Top Gun. The meteoric rise of his career came after the release in 91 of the film The Doors, where he starred as Jim and also starred in Batman Forever, which was well received by audience. Russell Crowe began his career in the early 70s with cameo roles, but the really significant leap in his career happened 20 years later with the release of Romper Stomper. In addition to recognition, he is an Oscar winner. Shelley Duval has several Emmy Award nominations at the dawn of her career came in her early 70s as Phil Brewster McCloud. Her performances in Three Women and Annie Hall received positive reviews, but she is most remembered for playing in The Shining. Kurt Wagel Russell began his acting career at an early age and became particularly popular after the release of Elvis and the movie Overboard the role of Dean Prophet. In 2017, he was awarded several stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at once. Sarah Jessica Parker gained international fame starring in the TV series Sex and the City, for which she is still known today and for which she was awarded two Primetime Emmy Awards and four Golden Globe Awards. Her first role was 3 2 1 Contact. Sharon Stone played the lead role of Ginger McKenna in the film Casino in 96, which had a good effect on her career and also brought her an Oscar nomination and a Golden Globe Award. Her awards also include an Emmy for her role in The Practice. Whoopi Goldberg has one Academy Award nomination and one Academy Award and nine Primetime Emmy nominations. She excelled in both comedy and drama and won as Celie Johnson of her first film credits in The Color Purple was her real debut. Matthew Perry is a five-time Primetime Emmy nominee and has also been nominated for a Golden Globe. His first serious film experience was A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon, but his role as Chandler Bean in the TV series Friends became really significant for him. Brandon Fraser is an Academy Award winner and Golden Globe nominee since the release of The Whale. Some of his most memorable work was George of the Jungle and his role as Rick in the Mummy films. Became the only American actor in the Canadian Walk of Fame. For Meg Ryan, participation in the film Rich and Famous was the first step in the film industry. She has three Golden Globe nominations two of which were for When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle, Annie Reed, for which she is still recognized today. The beginning of Lara Flynn Boyle's career was filming in the series America, which did not bring her success, but the role of Donna in Twin Peaks changed the situation dramatically. They began to recognize her and offer more roles. Renee Zellweger mainly gained wide popularity after performing a comedic role in Bridget Jones' Diary in 2001. In addition to the comedy genre, she performed well in the military drama Cold Mountain. She has two Oscars and four Golden Globe Awards. Vin Diesel started acting in the age of seven years old, but in the cinema he managed to get attention in 98, playing in Saving Private Ryan. However, success and world fame came to him three years later with the filming of the movie Fast and the Furious. Heather Locklear is the nominee for six Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in Spin City and Melrose Place. Her first significant project was the role of Sammy in Dynasty, and despite acting in films, her participation in television series brought her great fame. 
Katie Sago has distinguished herself as a dramatic actress with her Golden Globe starring in Sons of Anarchy, role of Gemma, and also has four nominations for her role as Peggy Bundy in the comedy television series Married with Children, which also brought her fame. As a teenager, Ray Don Chong turned her attention to acting and starred in Disneyland, role of Greta, in 74. After seven years, her appearance in the film La Guerre du Faux became a breakthrough in her career and earned her a later role in the film Commander. Ethan Sopli has been active in films since 94, and although hasn't won any prestigious awards, his acting has been appreciated by audience. He became recognizable in many ways for all as Elastic in Remember the Titans. Tori Spelling became interested in filming as a teenager, but played minor roles. The first serious project for her was the TV series Beverly Hills 19210, Role of Donna, which brought her worldwide fame. Also starred in the movie Scary Movie 2. Catherine O'Hara's first film appearance came in 1980s, nothing personal, but she is best remembered for her role as Delia in Beetlejuice. She is the recipient of a Golden Globe and two Emmy Awards. World success brought her the film Home Alone. Cameron Diaz made her debut with the role of Tina, film The Mask and immediately attracted the attention of not only the audience, but also the directors. Another of her equally famous appearance is the film Charlie's Angels. For Tom Berenger, Rashids was the first major entry into the film industry, and almost 10 years later, with the release of Platoon, he was a resounding success. For playing the role of Sergeant Barnes, he received an Oscar nomination and a Golden Globe Award. Loretta Sweet became recognizable with the release of the MASH series and her performance as Margaret Holyhan. She was nominated for more than eight Emmys and won two awards and is also a four-time Golden Globe nominee. Her career began with the Mannix. One of the first roles for Laurie Petty was Hooker in 85 film The Equalizer, but didn't attract much attention, which cannot be said about participation in the series Booker. It was after him that her iconic role in the film Point Break followed. Bridget Nielsen played the role of Red Sonia in the film of the same name in the mid-1980s, which became her first film work and brought her not only a resounding success, but also offers for filming in other equally famous films, such as Rocky IV. Jack Nicholson has received nine nominations and three Oscars in his career, including more than ten nominations and six Golden Globe Awards. The film Cry Baby Killer is one of his first works, but his role in Chinatown brought him considerable popularity. Catherine Bach took her first steps as an actress in the mid-70s in the movie The Midnight Man, after the release of which she didn't stop feeling hard. Her efforts were rewarded, and Daisy's role in the Dukes of Hazard reunion brought her fame. Jamie Lee Curtis is an Academy Award winner for her portrayal of Deirdre in Everything Everywhere All at Once and is also an Emmy nominee, six-time nominee and two Golden Globes. Filming in Halloween became a landmark and made a big breakthrough in her career. Mr. T started his acting career in the 80s with minor roles, one of which was the film The Blues Brothers. However, thanks to Stallone, he managed to get the role of Clover in Rocky III, where his acting and extraordinary appearance brought his fame. Bridget Fonda is a hereditary actress who decided not to break tradition and appeared on the screens for the first time in 82. The film Area is one of her first works, and A Simple Plan brought her special success.
Edward Furlong began his career in 91 in the film Terminator 2, where he was lucky enough to play with Schwarzenegger in the lead role of John Connor, which made him famous all over the world. Another of his well-known roles is Danny in American History X. Melanie Griffith was nominated for an Academy Award for her acting and was a Golden Globe winner after playing the role of Tess in Working Girl and which made her recognizable. After the movie RKO 281, she was nominated for a Golden Globe and Emmy. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.